Good morning, CUC community, and happy Tuesday to all of you. Today's uh, gospel passage is John 8, 21 to 30. Let us read together and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn, but the one who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but I speak these things as the Father instructed me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone. For I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. I think today's gospel has uh, two main points for us to emphasize on and for us to follow. Uh, Jesus first, he's predicting his passion. He predicts his uh, his death, his crucifixion, as saying that the Son of Man's going to be lifted up. And it's important for us to realize that when Jesus talks about his own death, he's talking about our salvation. He's talking about when he's going to free us from our sin, when he's going to uh, save us uh, from the times that we've messed up to save us and bring us closer uh, to God in that. And secondly, Jesus says, uh, the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone. And I think uh, in this time, it's it's very difficult for us to see that God is with us and that God is uh, you know, truly working for our good in the midst of these circumstances. But it's important for us to know that God will not leave us alone. Just as God the Father uh, did not leave the people in the Old Testament behind, uh, Jesus, God the Father, the Holy Spirit will not leave us now in the midst of our difficulties, in the midst of our struggles. So let us seek the Lord today in our lives. Let us pray together the Our Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day, CEC.